I, as a Jewish American and as a person with a platform, cannot go on posting my art and talking about my life without talking about the genocide of Palestinians at the hands of the Israeli military. Out of fear of doxing, threats, and harassment as an Asian woman and a Jew, as well as a misguided belief that I was doing my audience a favor by keeping my content free of any discussion of global issues, I have not made any public statements about the conflict. However, this week I attended a Seder with my mom, another Jewish family, and other members of our communities. It was there that I came face to face with just some of the denial and misinformation that has spread throughout the Jewish American community. If you can be patient with me, later I intend to make a longer video breaking down some of that misinformation, where it came from, and why it's wrong with sources. But for today, I want to talk about Passover. I need to highlight for my fellow Jewish people the sick irony of celebrating Passover, a holiday celebrating Jewish liberation from oppression, slavery, and genocide, at the same time that the Israeli government seeks to exterminate Palestinians in their homes just 76 years after they used military force to push those Palestinians where they are today. The story of Passover, of Moses and the 10 plagues that God unleashed upon the Egyptians, is the story of an oppressed people whose only route to freedom was terrorism, albeit terrorism enacted by God. It is written in the Jewish religion to tell this story every year for every new generation so that we never forget the suffering our ancestors experienced and remember the lessons we learned. When I apply those lessons to what's happening today, it's extremely clear to me that the Israeli government is more similar to the Pharaoh and the Palestinians more similar to those enslaved Jews. No one group has a monopoly on evil and no one group has a monopoly on innocence. Jewish people have been oppressed and killed for literally thousands of years, and unfortunately, that hasn't stopped many of us from being blind to the way that we're doing the exact same thing to others in the name of self-preservation. I challenge my fellow Jewish Americans, who were taught all of our lives to be Zionists, to question the right for any one group to maintain a country that represents and supports the rights of only one group, and question the manner in which Israel was founded. Support a ceasefire. Support equality between Arabs and Jews. Support reparations. Combat anti-Semitism combat Islamophobia, support freedom of movement, and peaceful coexistence. I know this is the last thing you expected from a pottery creator, and I know I'm going to get backlash, but I am finally feeling brave enough to stand up for what I believe in. I'll be getting back to my usual content, and I'm also going to be working on a longer video discussing some of the things I brought up here in more depth.